So, what are you anyway? By Lawrence Hill. Carol settles in seat 12A beside the window, puts her doll on a vacant seat and snaps open her purse. She holds up a mirror. She looks into her own dark eyes. She examines her handful of freckles, which are tiny spots dotting her cheeks. She checks for pimples, but finds none. Only the clear complexion that her father calls milk chocolate. This is yours, I believe. A big man with a sunburned face is holding her doll upside down. May I have her, please? Carol says. He turns the doll right side up. A black doll? I never saw such a thing. Her name's Amy. May I have her, please? Henry Norton, cries the man's wife. Give that doll back this instant. Carol tucks the doll close to the window. The man sits beside Carol. The woman takes the aisle seat. Don't mind him, the woman says, leaning towards Carol. By the way, I'm Betty Norton and he's my husband, Henry. The man next to Carol hogs the armrest and he keeps looking at her. The stewardess passes by, checking seatbelts. Everything okay? May I go to the bathroom? Carol asks. Do you think you could wait? We're about to take off. Okay. Carol looks out the window, sees the Toronto airport buildings fall behind and wonders if her parents are watching. Say goodbye, she instructs Amy, waving the doll's hand. Say goodbye to mum and dad. The engines charge to life. Her seat hums. They taxi down the runway. She feels a hollowness in her stomach when they lift into the air. Her ears plug and stay that way until the plane levels out over pillows of cotton. They burn as bright as the sun. So that is what the other side of the clouds look like. Excuse me. Excuse me. The man is talking to her. You can go to the bathroom now, you know. No, that's all right, Carol says. Travelling all alone, are you? Carol swallows with difficulty. Where do you live? He asks. Don Mills. Oh, really? he says. Were you born there? Yes. And your parents? My mother was born in Chicago and my father was born in Tuscan. And you're going to visit your grandparents? She nods. And your parents let you travel alone? It's only an airplane ride and I'm a big girl. The man lowers the back of his seat, chuckling. He whispers to his wife. No! Carol hears her whisper back. You ask her! Carol yawns, holds Amy's hand and goes to sleep. The clinking of silverware wakens her. But she hears the man and woman talking about her so she keeps her eyes shut. I don't know, Henry, says the woman. Don't ask me. Ask her. I'm kind of curious, he says. Aren't you? Carol can't make out the woman's answer. But then she hears her say, I just can't see. It's not fair to children. I don't mind them mixed. But the world isn't ready for it. They're neither one thing nor the other. Henry, 
Wake that child and see if she wants to eat. When the man taps her shoulder, Carol opens her eyes. I have to go to the bathroom, she says. But they're going to serve the meal, the man says. Henry, if she wants out, let her out. She's only a child. Carol grimaces. She is definitely not a child. She is a young lady. Once in the aisle, Carol realizes she has forgotten Amy. Henry Norton hands her the doll. There you go. And don't fall out of the plane now. There's a big hole down by the toilet. There is not, Carol says. There isn't any such thing. She heads down the aisle with an eye out just in case there is a hole, after all. Coming out of the toilet, Carol finds the stewardess. Excuse me, miss. Could I sit somewhere else? The woman frowns. Why? I don't like the window. Is that it? Is that the only reason? Well, yes. I'm sorry, but we don't have time to move you now. We're serving a meal. Ask me later, if you like. After Carol has eaten and had her tray taken, the man says, What are you, anyway? My wife and I were wondering. Carol blinks, sees the man's clear blue eyes and drops her head. What do you mean? she says. You know, what are you? What race? Carol's mouth drops. Race? What is that? She doesn't understand. Yet she senses that the man is asking a bad question. She wishes her mum and dad were there. They could tell her what race meant. That doll of yours is black, Henry Norton says. That's a Negro doll. That's race. Negro. What's your race? The question still confuses her. Put it this way, the man says. What is your father? The question baffles her. What is her father? He is her dad. He is her dad and every Sunday morning he makes pancakes for the whole family and lets Carol pour hot syrup on them and afterwards he tells her stories. Norton leans towards Carol. Say you had a colouring book. What colour would you make your dad? I never use just one colour. Okay. What colour would you make his face? Brown. And your mother? Carol imagines a blank page. What would she put in her mother's face? She has to put something in there. She can't leave it blank. I don't know. Sure you do, Mrs. Norton says. How would you colour your mother's face? Yellow. Carol sees Mr. and Mrs. Norton look at each other. Is your mother Chinese? Mrs. Norton asks. No. Are you sure you'd colour her yellow? No. What else might you colour her? What else? Carol feels ashamed at her stupidity. A tear races down her cheek. Red, she says, finally. Red? You can't colour a face red. Is your mother white? Is she like me? Her face, is it the same colour as mine? Yes. And your father's brown? Carol nods. When you say brown, do you mean he is a Negro? Yes, of course her father is a Negro. If Mrs. Norton wanted to know all along 
if her dad was a Negro, why didn't she just ask? So you're mixed? Mrs. Norton says. You're a mulatto! Carol's lip quivers. What is a mulatto? Why do they keep asking her what she is? She isn't anything. So is that it? You're a mulatto? You know what a mulatto is, don't you? Haven't your parents taught you that word? Approaching with a cart of juice, the stewardess looks up and smiles at Carol. That gives her a rush of courage. Leave me alone! She screams at Mrs. Norton. Passengers stare. The stewardess spills a drink. Mrs. Norton sits back hard in her seat, her hands raised, fingers spread. Carol sees people watching. Why do you keep asking me if my dad is Negro? Yes, he's Negro. Okay? Okay? Negro, Negro, Negro. Calm down, Mrs. Norton says, reaching over. Don't touch her, the stewardess says. Who are these people? Someone says from across the aisle. Imagine talking to a child like that. And in 1970. One woman sitting in front of Carol stands up and turns around. Would you like to come and sit with me, little girl? No, Carol shouts. I don't like all these questions. She keeps asking me how I would colour my parents in a colouring book. Why do you keep asking me that? Mrs. Norton pleads with Carol to stop. How would you like it if that happened to you? Carol says. So what are you, anyway? What are your parents? How would you colour them? Well, I don't care. I don't even care. How would you like to come and sit with me? The stewardess says, smiling. I'll make you a special drink. Have you ever had a Shirley Temple? Carol nods enthusiastically. Already, she feels better. Clutching Amy, she passes by the Nortons, who swing their legs to let her out. My God! Carol hears Mrs. Norton tell her husband. Talk about sensitive!